I've not done a video on this channel for such a long time. I just, I honestly think it's been about probably three months or something like that. There's not really been any kind of reason behind it. It's just been a bit manic. Um, life has just been a bit crazy. Um, obviously, I started growing my Instagram back in September and it just kind of grew quicker than I ever thought it would. So I've just been busy with things on there um, and obviously family life and everything that's going on with that. So yeah, it's just been super busy. I'm so out of breath. I don't even know why. But yeah, so I'm just going to do a bit of a random video. Got some exciting kind of news to share at the end. Um, but don't scroll the video forward you have to watch this and wait till it comes <laughs> don't scroll forward um so yeah so not a lot lots been happening to be honest we went to Torquay for a couple of weeks to see family we hadn't seen them in probably nine or ten months so it was really amazing to see them we had such a lovely couple of weeks even though it chucked it down we were very lucky with small parts of the weather when it did come really when the sun did come out it was really really lovely and um, we got to spend some time down the beach and had lots and lots of ice creams and things like that. It was just lovely, nice and chilled. And sometimes I think even if you're not doing masses when you're away because it's raining or whatever, it's just nice to be away, away from the everyday running errands, school runs, whatever else there is. It's just nice to just be away, isn't it? Um, I don't know if anyone has seen my vlog videos over on the Positive Birth Company but we have been trying to conceive baby number four for um, a little while now. And um, we had um, a chemical pregnancy back in March. So obviously the, the whole thing with that is just, I'm so worn out. I am so worn out. I don't even know why. <laughs> How annoying. Um, so yeah, uh, that was obviously a really upsetting time. Um, it was super early on, but I still felt very, um, seeing the positive test and then obviously seeing it gradually go negative was just really kind of difficult to deal with. But, you know, we, we've just carried on. Um, we tried again in April. But every, all the kids were just really, really poorly. I was poorly, Ryan was poorly, Orlando was on the boob constantly, and it was just like, impossible. And then in May, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to start, <laughs> this is so random, but I'm gonna start seed cycling, which is basically you have pumpkin seeds and flax seeds between this, the first day of your period until the day that you ovulate. So you have like a portion of them each day, which I just put either on top of my cereal, on top of like fruit and yogurt or in a smoothie. And then from when you ovulate to when you're due on your period, you then take sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. So in May, I decided to do that. I also upped my vitamin C because apparently that's meant to help. And the reason I started to do this was because my luteal phase was six days. And from what I had read, unless it is more than 11 days, a pregnancy implantation being successful is quite small. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to start doing this month. On 8DPO this month, I took my first pregnancy test. I'm a serial pregnancy test peer on a sticker. I cannot stop. Like once I've started, I can't stop. I said to my, my best friend this month, I was like, I am not going to pee on any sticks until my period is due. And she's like, hmm. And then <laughs> at 8DPO, I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start today. So I did and I thought I could see like the faintest of faint lines but i've had this before um especially during the chemical pregnancy it came up and obviously it went again um so yeah it's just been a bit of a roller coaster so anyway i am going to flick to 
a another video that I filmed a couple of days ago now. No. So I'm gonna do one of these today. I've been having a fake lines now for a few days. So I'm going to hey darlings. I'm gonna do one of these just to see if I can see the actual word pregnant because it just will feel more real then. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So while that loads, which oh my god, I feel so so nervous. While that loads, I will just tell you that um yeah, I've been getting fault like really, really faint, sorry, positives now for yesterday and today but they're like not strong and I am only 9 DPO so I'd be really surprised if that I did actually say pregnant to be honest but I feel so nervous um yeah I just feel really nervous Yee! still loading <laughs> it's taking forever oh my god it's taking forever it's still loading this is the longest three minutes of my life <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, it just says pregnant. It says pregnant. Oh my god. <sighs> That's just crazy. When I see the faint lights, I literally never believe it. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm gonna go tell Ryan. <laughs> This house is so messy. <laughs> Look, Boo. Hey. What? She says it now. <laughs> yeah, she says it already. What the fudge in Moskina? <laughs> I don't understand. What's that say? That means you can have you a brother or sister. How crazy is that? That is mental. How is it? How? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did it. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> He's taking the thing off. Oh, don't do that. We need no. that. Mummy, <laughs> there's a little wee on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's the same here with little, little brother or sister. He's Definitely like, like, going to do it. What can it be? I'm going to be a brother. A brother? You we want a brother, know, do you? I don't know. Orlando just loves the test. <laughs> so yes, we are expecting baby number four and I know it's so early to be even talking about it. Like I am literally in like four weeks. But the one thing I said I would do this time would be to vlog each week how the pregnancy is going because when I was pregnant, I loved watching, you know, people on YouTube and kind of been as they were speaking saying oh this is my symptoms this week i'd be like oh my gosh yeah that's my symptoms this week and i just felt like it was really relatable um i do get high premises when i am pregnant i've had it the past two times in and out of hospital on fluids and things like that so i am really really nervous about that um it gives me a lot of anxiety thinking about it and stuff hence why i'm so worn out i don't know why but i'm just so out of breath all the time like, even when i'm just sat doing nothing I, I just can't catch my breath it's so strange but anyway i was going to show you so this is the first one that i peed on i don't know if you can see it um yeah that was the first one that i did and it was so 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 faint and then the one that i did the following day after i did that clear blue one that you just saw I did this one, I don't know if you can see, it is super faint still, but yeah, so I did that one after, I haven't done any since, because it's very clear that <laughs> I am pregnant, it said pregnant one to, one to two, so, which is a great sign, um, and I've already got my high premises medication on Danzatron, so, um, I, I'm not going to go into too much about the high premises, the pregnancy, the symptoms, all that kind of stuff yet because I'm going to do a completely separate video on that and start it from like 
four weeks pregnant and so on obviously when i've got high premises there might be weeks when i just literally can't do a video but i am re even if i am like so poorly i'm going to try and do videos because i just really want there to be videos out there that people with high premise because high premises can relate to so it's obviously just not many because so many people get poorly with it and they can't do videos so i'm gonna try and i'm, I'm praying i won't be too poorly but um yeah so we are pregnant with baby number four our last baby well our last baby i say it's our last baby ryan still wants six unless he's carrying two more we are stopping at four so yeah super excited obviously orlando is still breastfeeding so that's just worrying the life out of me like how am i gonna breastfeed when i'm pregnant with high premises oh my god i don't even know like i'm just freaking out about everything but overall super excited we wanted to have the girls close together and then this baby and orlando close together they would have we wanted them to be a little bit closer in age but obviously nature has decided when it would happen and obviously my seeds because i've been a bird lady for the past month but yeah i will try and upload videos each week now um and when the baby is born i do plan to vlog the home birth as well um and hopefully this baby sticks around we don't have any problems like we did in march but so far so good um yeah the pregnancy test that i've done are showing the hormones are quite strong for how early on i am so fingers crossed all is gonna be okay i'm being positive so yeah thank you so much for watching i will definitely do another update very very soon on how i'm feeling and stuff like that and if you haven't subscribed to this channel already please subscribe because there's going to be so much to come and um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching <music>